I think it's worth going for. It's up to you. I'm going to say Henry II. There was a little bit of a gamble there, and I could feel inside this slightly insane thing that it, I was going to gamble it. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. I was able to type messages to Chris's screen, and I typed to Chris, take a break. And I saw a look in his eye down the camera at me. You want me to take a break now? One of those four is worth... <laughs> one million pounds. Three of them would cost Judith Keppel 468,000 pounds. Find out what the right answer is in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, and the whole audience just went, oh, no! <laughs> you know? I can guarantee you that nobody turned off because she's answered a question. We didn't know whether it was right or it was wrong, so she was either going home with a million or she was going home with 32,000. After a nerve-jangling three minutes, the lights went down for the last time on Judith Keppel. Across Britain, viewers moved to the edge of their seats. She had... £500,000, she could have walked away with that. After a two-year wait, the country had to know if we were about to get our very first millionaire winner. She didn't have to play it, she knew if she gave me a wrong answer, she would have lost £468,000. She did decide to play, and she went for Henry II. Just sitting, waiting, and getting more and more nervous. Please tell me. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting anymore. You've just won one million! He leapt off the chair and hugged me to bits. I was so pleased with it. I was like, so well done. Now, up in the gantry up there, there's this huge box of glitter. And there was a guy, a lovely Belgian guy called Pascal. And his job for two years had been on the night it happened to pull the trigger, press the button, and all the glitter would come down. And it just didn't come down. And it's just this wonderful thing. This guy's been waiting for so long for this moment. And he missed it. I don't know why it misfired or whatever. Rosie, come on down. I was just um, completely holding myself together because I thought if I relax for a single minute, I'll fall apart. So Rosie did the Oh, the, it's the so mortifying. What had happened is, sitting in the audience, it was like a pressure cooker. It, I just had to let it out. Come on, Judith, come over here. You look at Chris Tarrant's face uh, when he's giving her the check, and you can see a little bit of relief in his eyes. <laughs> I'm doing the thing we'd never, ever show this. Have a look at this. Pay Judith Keppel one million pounds. Look at that. I'm so impressed with Mummy. actually incredibly really? proud. Really? Mmm. <laughs> You are so cool! I can't believe it, thank you. Well. Have a look again. Judith, have a look again. Yeah. Look, Rosie. Yeah. Look, Rosie. <laughs> it's ever so nice. Mummy's won a million pounds. <laughs> Christmas. Yes. I can't actually remember what you gave me for Christmas. I can't either. I'm sure. Well, I think it was bigger than normal. Yeah. I hope it was bigger than normal. <laughs> How do you feel? You were amazing all the way through. You were so cool. Well, I was very, very lucky with the questions. You were, they were incredibly hard. It's, it's... <laughs> I think with Millionaire, you're only lucky if you know the answer. And it just comes down to life experiences because the most random question could be something you're completely familiar with, whereas other people would be like, how on earth did they draw that out of their brain? It's taken two years, over 120 shows now. Judith from Fulham has finally been the first to do it. She's just won one million pounds. And I'm out of punching the air, I think, yes. At the end of an historic show, the millionaire duck had been broken. And Pascal finally got his glitter button working. There was a very unexpected media onslaught from the next morning, and there were some completely ridiculous headlines like this one, Chameleonaire. And then there was one ridiculous one so that I was related to Henry II, for heaven's sake. 
Rosie, who was involved with tiger preservation, said, right, if you win uh, some money, please will you give some to the tiger conservation charity. So I, I bought them a Jeep, didn't I? Yeah, you did. And then we went to India to see the Jeep. So that was one of the nicest things I did. And then, of course, um, eggheads came along, which was lovely and very unexpected. And um, I've been doing that for 16 plus years. Oh, that's this one is um, Rosie, me, and Chris. And it's signed. This is autographed. What a night. <laughs>